going to explain to you the difference between spring water and reverse osmosis water. Spring water has dissolved minerals in it, such as calcium and magnesium. It usually also has a pH above 7, which means it's alkaline. Reverse osmosis water, however, has a pH below 7, which means it's acidic. It also has no minerals in it left whatsoever. The glass on the left hand side is reverse osmosis water and the one on the right hand side is spring water. Spring water has dissolved minerals in it such as calcium and magnesium. You cannot see the minerals because they are dissolved in the water. Reverse osmosis water, however, just like distilled water, has no minerals. Now we're going to do a little experiment. I'm going to freeze these waters and before I put it in the freezer I'm going to pour it in plastic glasses so I don't break the glasses when it freezes. Now I am going to freeze the water overnight so I'm going to make sure it's completely frozen solid. Now we are going to do another little experiment with spring water. We're going to bring spring water to a boil. Okay, now that the spring water has been boiling for about five minutes, we're going to let it cool off. Okay, now the water has cooled off. Um, now you can, probably can't see it on the camera, but there's a, a white film floating on top of the water. It's uh, very hard to see. But anyway, that white film is calcium and magnesium. Um, when I boil the water, what happens is that the, the vapor rises, but the calcium and magnesium is too heavy. It, it cannot rise with the, the vapor. So what happens, it separates from the water and then it's just, it just starts floating on top of the water. It, it's like little white specks or almost like a, a film. So uh, anybody wondering why it does that, well that's the calcium magnesium that's in the spring water and uh, that's normal, there's nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong with the water. Um, I'm not going to bother to do this experiment with uh, reverse osmosis water because this is not going to happen because uh, there's no minerals whatsoever in reverse osmosis water. Just like distilled water, same thing, no minerals. Okay, I just poured the water that was frozen into the wine glasses. The glass on the left hand side is a reverse osmosis water and the one on the right hand side is the spring water. As you can see the spring water is full of white specks floating in the water. So what's happening here is that when the water starts to freeze, it starts freezing from the outside first. The minerals will not freeze with the ice but instead it is pushed towards the center as the water freezes. When the ice is completely frozen, the minerals are pushed to the center of the ice and are completely separated from the water, or in this case, from the ice. When the ice melts, the minerals will not dissolve in the water. So what you see here is the calcium and magnesium that are no longer dissolved in the water. Now you're, you're probably wondering which water is better for your health. Well, the spring water is better for your health. Two reasons. Uh, number one, the spring water is alkaline. The reverse osmosis water is acidic. So most doctors agree that alkaline water is better for your health. Also, the spring water has minerals in it and we all need minerals in our body. Now having said that, reverse osmosis water does have its advantages. For example, if you use it in your tea kettle or in your coffee machine, you will not get a calcium buildup. Also, it's great to put in your iron. You will not get a calcium buildup in there either. Now, you're probably wondering how reverse osmosis water is created. The water is pressurized through a semi-permeable membrane, which means only the molecules of the water can go through the membrane. So you're left with pure water. 